In 1 Samuel chapter 15, Samuel the prophet goes to Saul, the king of Israel, and he has a special message for him. Listen to what it says. So Samuel said to Saul, the Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people, over Israel. Now, therefore, heed the voice of the words of the Lord. And here's what he says the Lord wants to say to Saul. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I will punish Amalek for what he did to Israel, how he ambushed him on the way when he came up from Egypt. So Amalek had ambushed or come against Israel as they're fleeing from Egypt with Moses. And now God's going to punish them and he's going to use Saul to do it. And so he tells Saul to wipe them out. Every person, every child, everything has to be done away with the, the cattle, the sheep, the oxen, the lambs, everything. And so Saul and his men, they, they ambush the Amalekites. But instead of doing what the Lord had told him to do, he spares the king and he spares the best oxen and he spares the best sheep and he spares the best of those he wants to sacrifice to the Lord. And well, Samuel comes back and he says, did you do what the Lord told you to do? He goes, yeah, I did it. And then he hears these sheep in the background bleeding and he goes well what's that sound i hear he goes oh well we kept the best sheep to sacrifice to the lord and we also spared the life of the king and samuel goes well he says this favorite verse that i'm sure most of us have heard he says it's better to obey than it is to sacrifice and one of the principles that you get from this passage is you know, it's better to have an obedient heart, a repentant heart, than a religious one. To say, go to church and tithe and do all these things, but at the same time, being very disobedient to the Lord. Yes, yeah, yeah, Saul did some of what was told him, but not all of what was told him. And he thought because he was making sacrifices, religious sort of duties, that that would suffice. But Samuel sort of calls him on it. And when he does, he, 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 Samuel himself makes sure everything is destroyed. And as he's leaving Saul, Saul reaches out and grabs the kind of end of his robe and, and it tears. And he goes, today the Lord has torn the kingdom from your hand. It, it's a powerful passage, a, a, a crazy chapter about being completely obedient and not half-hearted. That's kind of the message of 1 Samuel 15. Be obedient to the Lord and not half-hearted.